So today we thought we'd show you some more of our Jurassic World toys. These guys are all Dino Rivals made by Mattel and were released in 2019. We love all these dinosaurs. They are well played with and well loved by my kids. So we thought we'd tell you about each of the dinosaurs, show you what features each toy has and scan these guys for the Jurassic World Facts app. So the first one we're going to look at is the Protoceratops. Now he is a much smaller relative to the Triceratops. I actually think he's pretty cute because he's only 60 centimetres tall to his shoulder in real life and about 1.8 metres long. So no scary horns. He's still got the cool frill. I don't know, it just makes him cute to me. Not as cute as the other one. Is it a bag of ceratops? He's even smaller and seems even cuter. Maybe dog size, not sheep size like this one. But anyway, the protoceratops lived around 80 to 70 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. And his fossils have been found in Mongolia. And there's actually a famous fossil of a protoceratops mid-battle with a velociraptor. And the protoceratops is biting the velociraptor's arm and the velociraptor has his, his claw in the protoceratops or near the protoceratops somewhere. And they obviously got fossilized and preserved somehow together in that position. And so, yeah, you can check that one out. So it's found in Mongolia, a protoceratops and a velociraptor. So let's see what this toy can do. So I like how this guy's head can move his frill moves his head can move up and down my lovely assistant will show you yeah and turn sideways very good his arms and legs move he's a great size to fit in the hands of kids and so it makes him very playable he's also a great size to get chomped on his tail rotates as well so he can get chomped on by some of our bigger t-rex and indominus rex type toys but he's really cool all right and now i will show you his scan yeah. oh, grab that legs. so if you have the jurassic world facts app oh, there is his scan we love collecting the scans from that app all right, next I'm going to show you the Dracorex. Now, he actually is up there with one of my favorite dinosaurs. So the Dracorex was alive also in the Cretaceous period, and his fossils have been found in North America. He was about 1.2 meters tall and 8 to 9 meters long. So he is much bigger than the Protoceratops that we just looked at. He has cool features on his head, his bony head, similar to a Pachycephalosaurus and a Stiggy Mollick. And actually, the paleontologists are actually in a bit of a debate whether the Dracorex is his own species, whether he's a species of Stiggy Mollick, or whether he and the Stiggy Mollick are actually just juvenile or young Pachycephalosauruses. So they're not sure exactly, but how cool is the name Dracorex? So the word Dracorex actually means dragon king. Draco meaning dragon, Rex means king. So T-Rex means tyrant king, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dracorex, dragon king. And his full name is actually Dracorex hogwartsia. So the first fossils of the Dracorex were only found in 2014 which means that Harry Potter had already been released. So he's similar to I don't know, one of the characters in Harry Potter. So they named him Hogwarts here. So his name actually means Dragon King of Hogwarts. So I think that's reason enough to let the Draco Rex be his own species because that's really cool. All right, let's have a look at his features. His head moves. His head moves on its neck and his neck moves up and down. His arms move and his legs move. And I really like... His tail spins around. Oh, and his tail even spins around. That's really cool. I really like that they've given this Dracorex the feature where... Can I grab that? Thanks. Where his head moves like... Oh, it's a bit stuck. There we go. His head moves because he needs that head butting action and it moves up and down here. So I think that's really important for this guy. They've done well. Good job, Mattel. Always a fan of your work. I'll just get that in focus for you. And here's scan. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Here we go. Can you tap the screen? Right on the scan. 
There we go. Got him. There is his scan. Nothing worse than watching a clip that doesn't focus on that scan for you. All right, next we have the Proceratosaurus. Now, he is named this way because of that horn on his snout. Actually looks a lot like the Ceratosaurus. So they're theropods, and they thought he might have been related to the Ceratosaurus, but now they think, whoa, zoom in there. <laughs> they think he might actually be related to the T-Rex. He's closer related to a T-Rex than a Ceratosaurus. So the Proceratosaurus was named, I'm oh, sorry, was... So, like lived in the late Jurassic period about 150 million years ago and his fossils were found in 1910 in England and his fossil is actually in the Museum of London still today. He was about three meters long and about 1.8 meters tall so the height of a adult human male um, and so he would have been a pretty ferocious and scary carnival for us to come across. I am kind of glad dinosaurs are extinct to be honest. Let's look at this guy's characteristics. All right so his arms move well, his mouth open and closes. Yeah it's very important. His Does his tail move? Mm -hmm. Oh his tail spins as well and do his legs move? Mm -hmm. Yeah fits so nicely in your hand. He's fun to play with isn't he? All right, now let's get his scan. I'll hold it because that's easier, thanks. Great. There is his scan. If you would like to add the Proceratosaurus to your collection. He's got a cute little face, doesn't he? All right, and last I'm going to show you our Indoraptor. Now, this is a dino rival, Indoraptor by Mattel. He is a great size and he is a really cool toy. He's one of the favourites in our family for sure. Now, the Indoraptor wasn't a dinosaur that actually ever existed. He was created for the movie Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And he is a hybrid dinosaur, meaning he's made up of other dinosaur parts put together um, or other dinosaur DNA all put together to make him. So he's made up of Indominus Rex and Velociraptor. T-Rex, Carnotaurus. Yeah, Indominus Rex is made up of T-Rex, Carnotaurus, Giganotosaurus, Majungasaurus, Rugops, Therizinosaurus, Quilmesaurus, Velociraptor, Deinonychus, as well as some modern day animals as well, including cuttlefish, tree frog, and the pit viper. I'm sure there's other things in there as well. So they're all in the Indominus Rex. And then the Indominus Rex was combined with Velociraptor to make Indoraptor. And I think it's also combined with Blue, whose blood may have been contaminated with Allosaurus blood at the time. So there might even be a little bit of Allosaurus in this guy just to make him even more fierce. So in the movie, he's, he's kind of the villain, isn't he, of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But he has some nice moments. I like when... He doesn't hurt the little girl straight away. He kind of just looks at her in her bed. And I read somewhere that's him showing compassion because she's kind of made like he is, created by people. And that might be him kind of bonding with her. So I like to think that Indoraptor might be a little bit compassionate. That's nice. So let's have a look at his features. This is a very movable toy. His tail moves in two parts and that is actually the only fault of his this toy because the tail does come off and we have to clip it on all the time. But anyway, his arms move. He has a shoulder. Oh, there it goes. Clip it back in. So his shoulder moves, his elbow moves and his wrist moves. So, so many movable parts on him. His mouth open and shuts. And his head moves on his neck and his neck moves from his body. Whoa, getting freaky looking around like that. And his legs move at the, yeah, there's his mouth. His legs move at the hip socket and at the knee socket and at the ankle. So, so many movable parts to this guy. He has that awesome gold stripe and you can't forget those red eyes. Do you know the red eyes actually glow? In the movie they glow. Not our one, but some toys do. All right, and here is his scan for the Jurassic World Facts app. Such a good idea to have these scans so you can collect dinosaurs. We love doing it, don't we, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. 
so much fun. So there's Indoraptor, an awesome toy, an awesome character. So thanks for watching today. It's been, <laughs> watch out, he's getting attacked by Joker X. It's been fun to show you our toys. See you later.